Good morning and welcome to Face the Nation. There's been another series of stunning developments in the story that is consuming Washington. President Trump continues to attack his critics, tweeting over 160 times this week. He also made several freewheeling appearances filled with unsubstantiated claims alongside visiting foreign leaders. Biden and his son are stone cold crooked. And you know it. His son walks out with millions of dollars. The kid knows nothing. You know it, and so do we. Go ahead, ask Just, a question. But the, the question, sir, was what did you want President Zelensky to do about Pre Vice President Biden and his son, Hunter? Are you talking to me? Yeah, it was just a follow-up of what I just asked Listen, you, sir. The only thing that matters is the transcript of the actual conversation that I had with the president of Ukraine. It was perfect. But your own DNI said the call transcript was consistent with the complaint. So should No, 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 he didn't say that. You have to take that. a look. No, no, no. He did not say that. But he did. I would say that uh, the whistleblower's con uh, complaint is in alignment uh, with what was released yesterday by the, the president. Kurt Volker, Mr. Trump's special envoy to Ukraine, who resigned last week, handed Congress a series of text messages between himself, U.S. Ambassador to the EU Gordon Sondland, a major Trump campaign donor, and career State Department diplomat Bill Taylor. The texts reveal administration pressure on Ukraine to launch an investigation in exchange for a White House visit. This from Volker to a Zelensky aide. Assuming President Zelensky convinces Trump he will investigate, get to the bottom of what happened in 2016, we will nail down date for visit to Washington. President Trump also asked another country to look into former Vice President Biden and his son Hunter. And by the way, likewise, China should start an investigation into the Biden. Biden responded angrily. There's been no indication of any conflict of interest from Ukraine or anywhere else, period. I'm not going to I'm not going to respond to that. Let's focus on the problem. Focus on this man, what he's doing that no president has ever done. No president. Have you ever seen a rhetorical question? A president ever so unhinged as this guy is. That's what worries me. Let the House focus on what they're focusing on in the Senate, and I'm going to go out and I'm going to beat them on the merits. Thank you. Congress is seeking documents from Vice President Pence and Secretary of State Pompeo. Nations do this. Nations work together and they say, boy, goodness gracious, if you can help me with X, we'll help you achieve Y. This is what partnerships do. It's win-win. Mr. Trump acknowledged he may be impeached. So the Democrats, unfortunately, they have the vote, and then we'll get it to the Senate, and we're going to win. The Republicans have been very unified. This and that's true for the most part, but there are some cracks in Republican unity. Utah Senator Mitt Romney called the president's Ukraine and China request brazen and unprecedented, wrong and appalling. Nebraska's Ben Sass and Maine's Susan Collins were also critical. 